thank you for um joining another episode of Bassa Boutique. We're here with Paulita. Not Paul- Bassa Boutique. I mean, build a sister up. I had a long day. Build a sister up. We're here with Paulita, Kualan, and Moya. And Brother Quentin is on. So hey, guys. We have a beautiful, beautiful topic today. And um, Quentin, why don't you tell us what our topic is for today? Is, do you think women should things. pay for the first date? First date, me personally, I wouldn't have the woman pay. I went through this before a couple of weeks ago situation went bad but um i told the girl to leave her wallet at home but she still ended up paying for her own stuff and um I, and we was around other people and i just thought it made me look foolish for her doing that but if a female asks you out on a date and say that she that's what she want to do it's no problem with her doing all of that but still bring your own money um i think that guys should offer up it like like uh or earlier i was talking to my sister and she said that um uh, uh she wouldn't per- particularly pay for the date but at least she would give the tip yeah the um i was the sister <laughs> so me yeah me personally i would not pay for I, the first date of a man normally when I go out on a date normally the man is always asking for the first date um but even during that first day I may give the tip or something like that but um I would allow him to pay mm. what about you ladies I would allow the male to pay but you I got- guys would never just pay for the first date is what y'all are saying I never have in the past I know, never I have, but would you in the future? Would you now if it was no. a guy that you were truly interested? What if you was really interested in this person and no. you know he didn't need you to pay for the date, but you still wouldn't? I would not. Okay, you know what? I probably would do, I probably would pay my dinner and you pay yours. I don't know. Oh, now that's different, right there. So I would I never pay for you a, both with there just to go date. eat with each other. Yeah, I would never pay for a first date. Never a first date. What I'm about the t- second date? No, I would probably never pay for the first three or to five. I like courting, so I like to be what? courted. Right, so I would I probably want him to pay. I want him to well, court me. Right, I would never pay unless we were in a committed relationship, actually. So you would, okay. So every time, so you just dating, you just wouldn't pay nothing. Probably not for dates. But now, if, uh, just uh, general uh, date what night. If, what, if you had, boy, what if you had what if you had some money? Whatever. What if y'all went? Would you go half? Would I pay uh, for myself go Dutch? No, no. Would you go half? Like, say your your meal costs more and his costs less. Would I you wouldn't go half? willingly go half. Now, if he asked me to go half, I would go half, and he wouldn't get a second date. Mm. That's messed okay. up. Now, what if you was really attracted to the dude, and it's just because of he the way that the payment went because of the date, you wouldn't he wouldn't get the second date. No, attraction to me is, is doesn't matter. I like to be courted, so I mean, I think at my age right now, all of my dating situations, I'm going to do what makes me happy, and um, yeah, I don't. I like to be courted. That's just something that I would like to do. Yeah, I would say okay. So, man, like physical. Cool. What you were saying, Kualana? Physical attraction. I'm not gonna be all into someone just because they're physically attractive. That's, I mean, yeah, they're physically attractive, and that's what attracted me maybe in the beginning. But to get to me really being highly attracted to someone, there has to be everything else that I see that he's doing. So that goes into the courting and the being chivalrous and showing me that he is into me enough for me to want to you know, go ahead and give in that way, give myself in that way. So it is not about the attraction initially in the beginning, because I can't just initially be highly attracted to someone just on physical looks alone. That's not enough for me. Now, it's, it's some women that will be able to do everything you said. Some women would do that to a man. And they can have it. <laughs> Whatever makes your, your boat float, you know, that's, that's you. But as for me personally, I um no nah, I no I've been through way too many experiences and at this stage in my life 
I want it to to be how I want it to be. Quinn, so, you said you felt bad. That experience made you feel bad. You were saying? Yeah, because I told her to leave her wallet at home. Oh, and you forgot your boat. Okay, she left. She didn't leave her wallet at home, and she went ahead and paid for it. Is that what it was? Well, actually, she was actually buying stuff for me and herself, and I didn't know that. And when I went there, it made it seem like like she was just paying for me, and I didn't mm -hmm. want to make it seem like that. So it made it seem like I was just broke and didn't have money. Mm -hmm. Right, the actually, perception. I'm the one who told her yeah, to leave the money perception. home. Right. So right. I was like, uh, no, you don't have to do all of that. Like, but she did it because she wanted to. Mm -hmm. So did did your thoughts about her change or was it the same? Did you like her more? Um, thoughts didn't change. We was the same at the end of the day. We was cool. This was this the first date though? Oh no, no, no. Okay, no. yeah. No, yeah, no, no. it's different. So like, okay. you by far it was the first day. I'm paying for you, or you want to be the one to pay all the dates? That particular day, I wanted to pay, and I let her know that I wanted her. You know, I wanted to pay. Did and, you think uh, that that felt she was like um too controlling or too uh, trying to be dominant? No. Okay. She uh, I kind of got upset. Because I told her, like, leave it at home and everything, but she still did it and everything. But she explained to me what she was doing. And um, she just explained what happened, like, what mm. she was doing after I explained to her what I didn't want her to do. But she explained, like, this is what I was just doing. I was doing it for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I get that, too. Um, when I'm in a committed relationship, I wouldn't want him to pay for every single date because there's some things I would just want to right, do because I like them a lot. Right. She exactly. probably felt that same way. She probably yeah. just didn't want, like to feel like she probably didn't want to feel like she wanted me to pay for everything. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because, because, I mean, some, some the people, dating now, phase. People, now, some some women and everything, they make more money than men and everything. Mm -hmm. like some men make more money than women. Mm -hmm. she, particularly, she make more money than I do. So she probably was looking at that, too. Right. I just, I'm just trying to look out for you. I know what you got going on and everything. So by me trying to be nice and everything, she is probably being nicer. Right. The yeah, dating phase that. is about um, show, if you're serious, it's about showing how you two may work in a marriage. So um, mm -hmm. you don't give all the benefits of husband or wife, but you do show them, you know, this is what we're working towards and this is how we can be compatible. And these are our, our ideal uh, financial plans, how I want to run the relationship, how you intend on running the relationship too, or being in a relationship. Right. So it's important to see how you are treated and how you treat the other person in a dating phase. Now mm -hmm. that should be another topic because people will argue that you should do everything that you uh, would do in a marriage while dating people mm. will argue that so that should be another topic i don't think so girl okay girl <laughs> there's only certain benefits that can come after the ring is on the fingers and both of you guys made those vows legally and mentally and spiritually to one another so just it's different really but now right. do you believe in uh what's that, that that well like you said is another topic but do you believe in that uh what they they have that down there in uh, Texas where if y'all live with each other and everything y'all in a relationship and all that stuff common law common and law, I will yeah. say too um, legally speaking a lot of common law is actually being abrogated done away with so if you really want to but it's still recognized in some states but if you really want to show your intents and purposes to each other and to the world just legally do it right all right let's check out the comments Jamila said Good evening, ladies. No, I've only paid for a date for a man I'm in a relationship with. That's right. Uh, she also said, I've definitely paid the tip occasionally. Um, and she also said, that's right, Quan. Benefits in a relationship must be earned. Deach Lynn said, if you give it all away during dating, what do you have to look forward to in marriage? Right. Well, that's and true, Deach. Exactly. Chris Sim said, is this two different topics? Yeah, that's why I said that's, that should be another a topic within itself. Um, because that well, going on a date is different from buying like groceries and all that other stuff and cooking for a person. Like you could go on a date and, and pay. Nothing wrong with that, women. 
men too. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, but you, you ain't buying groceries. You still got kids and everything to look after. You still got. You know, I think it's. I figure uh, it's like it depends on the person because, like you said, the one that you went on a date with, the woman, she was looking out for you too. Whereas some women just are gonna be like, I don't care how much money you make, you still gonna pay for my date. So I think it just all um, depends. Right, yeah, you got gold diggers. They call them gold diggers. <laughs> <laughs> well no not gold diggers they just look for a different thing in life but you should just they date just wanna be, right they look for a different thing you should date according to the financial level you want to be exactly. on the type of life you want to live date, there's nothing wrong with that that's called being equally yo date who yeah, uh, equally yoked. is accommodating to you you know what I mean mm -hmm. date who is on your level but now, I also you think about that a person take you to Applebee's or McDonald's what'd you say Applebee's or McDonald's mcdonald's like now that's the dude paying for you to go to uh mcdonald's but you you paying for applebee's well that's not equal McDonald's sometimes they have some good choices they have a salad <laughs> so yeah again it depends on the person if i don't know if i if we've been talking for a while and then you know i'm okay with mcdonald's then i'm okay with mcdonald's if we've been talking for a while and i'm like no you Need to spend a little bit more. So I, th I think it depends on the, <laughs> the situation and the person, honestly. It's all about impression, what the other person feels is a good impression for a first date. And McDonald's may not be everyone's first good impression. Dishland said you can buy groceries on a date and go home and cook a meal together. That's a that is a great date idea. Um, mm -hmm. she also said women are well, naturally pay for the groceries. Maybe um, again, it depends on all those two people. But what I mean, if somebody if got a, food stamps, if it's a first date, I'm not going to his house on the first date. Um, anyway, but yeah, they got food stamps. Yeah, what they got food stamps? <laughs> Who gonna be like, hey, it's I the, got food stamps? It's all in what you want. It's all in what you want. Um, I, mean, I, I mean, well, it's on that topic, I guess it's not about the, the price, it's about the quality. So you can go in the creativity behind a date. So going to McDonald's <laughs> is not creative mind. at all. But I don't mind going spending, to cook it for a person, but I got the food stamps. Okay, but the amount of spending a certain amount of money, that is just putting a quantity on you. Well, you don't have to put a quantity on like, it, hey, it has to be quality. I'm paying for all this stuff, but he really got food stamps. Right, you can spend $5 on a meal somewhere but it's the perception and it's also about the quality of the food so it's not necessarily it is about going to mcdonald's it's that's like no food off some food right. stamps it's it's mcdonald's is not a good first date impression but stuff. a quality date can come out of going somewhere where you can spend the same amount of money you would at McDonald's. how about you go with, get your food stamps and buy you some good burgers from the store and then make a, a better mcdonald's burger at your house, so exactly. you can it's the quality. Stuff so, food stamp. so, so it's not about the dude to pay for it off his food stamp card. It's not about where it comes from, unless it's coming from somewhere illegal. It's so just about you it. thinking and planning and putting quality effort into a date. Okay, and and it's about knowing boundaries, boundaries, and then not going to someone's house on a first date because you all don't know each other, maybe. So it's about all of those other things. It's not really about the money. So you don't have to say it's about being a gold digger. It's about the quality and the perception. The twin said, um, women are naturally expensive. They are not gold diggers. She also said, a man bet not take me to McDonald's or Applebee's. She said, whoever asks to pay, whoever asks for the date should pay. And she also said, if he doesn't cut it out. So she said, Quinn, you need to cut it out. Chris Sims says, that's the way it should be. And then Dichlin said again, how about you level up and get off the food stamps? Well, food stamps are, I mean, if, if they can get you some good food sometimes. <laughs> so I don't know. Level but that up. That our 10 minute talk. This level up. Fun. You need to level up and get this you some. This was food a fun one. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> what you need to do. Well, well we are back up. Thank you all for That's joining us tonight. Right this was build a sister up and build a brother up. Bill Better, Bill Bo. Thank you all for the comments. Thank you, Deesh. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Tramilla, Tramilla our other admin. Yeah, appreciate you. I you can get some steaks off of the food stamps. Yeah, you need to level up and get some steaks. Thank you. Later. Bye.